Dear Assalamu alaikum everyone, thank you so much for registering with our mathematics course. This is the third video of the series where we are learning which softwares we are going to use during this course. So uh, in the first two, we learned how to use Zoom meetings. And in the second one, we learned how to use through uh, Google Classrooms. Uh, this is the third and the last one. Here I'm going to teach you how to um, use a cam scanner to convert all your homework into a PDF file, which you can later on attach into your Google Classroom. So you'll have to go to your app store again. You are going to type in cam scanner and there will be many options. And the, this is the first one that we're going to use. So this one, and I'm going to click on install. So it will just take a bit to install. This software is basically going to help us to uh, take pictures of our homework and in a very managed way it will convert them to PDF and you can easily upload them as a single file instead of taking so many photographs and I have to go through the hustle of uploading uh, individually. So you picture one you upload one time, you will upload one time in one So this is installed. So let's open this. Okay, so this is the cam scanner. Uh, this is how it will open once you click it. So you just swipe right and on the next page it will ask you try it for free or something. In the bottom right corner mein, you will see a button skip. Click on that and then it will again ask you to register or sign in. Again bottom right corner mein, there is a button called use now. Uh, so click on and it will straight away take you to the software. Now it will ask you some permissions. You have to allow them. So this is the main page. And uh, if any ads uh, open up, you just simply going to close them. Okay. So this is the main software where we're going to work. Uh, it says start scanning in the uh, lower right corner. So you go and click onto that button and it will ask you for some permissions and you're going to allow that. Uh, it will ask you if you want a demo. So simply close that. Don't start a demo. Okay. So for example, I have some examples of some work that I have to upload. So if this is the first page, so you're going to just take a picture of this like this. Okay. So once you've taken that picture, now it will give you some controls to decide how much portion would you want to keep. So please make sure that you just select your enough of your page. And then when you click next, this is a very nice software. What it does is it brings your page into an upright format. Okay. So it doesn't matter. It will automatically bring it to uh, a straightforward like uh, you've just taken it in the right angle. So you put play uh, you you've clicked save You have clicked save and it will bring you onto this page now for example If you have homework ek se zyada pages ka tha and you want to take more pictures to ab aap kya karoge tap here to add new pages So aap phir se ek new page ke upar aoge aur aap is tarah chahe aap thoda sa tilted angle se bhi le loge it's fine because the software is going to adjust it itself. Again, you are seeing that you are giving the option again. So here you have to use a little bit of 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 a little sometimes of a little bit of you have to tell the software bit of a little bit of a If you uh, click next, again you can see that your whole software will uh, automatically you. Usko upright form mein kar dete. So it doesn't look like a picture, it's uh, like a printed page. Aap uske baad save pe click karenge. And again, you can keep adding pictures by clicking on this camera button in the lower right corner. So it doesn't matter how much your work is. So let's quickly take another one. Okay, so this one is almost correct. Only I just had to select one corner, then I click next and it will convert it into a straightforward page. So uh, uh, there is a light reflection of my camera. Uh, if you avoid it, you can avoid it on a bright place. Then you again click save. And if I've done all of that, 
एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट कि ये तीन पिक्चर्स जो हैं ये एक फाइल बन जाएं इंस्टेड ऑफ के ये तीन अलग अलग पिक्चर्स मुझे अपलोड करनी पड़े सो दिस इज़ वॉट दिस सॉफ्टवेयर डज आपको ये ऊपर वाले कॉर्नर में पी का बटन छोटा सा पी बना नज़र आ रहा होगा एक छोटा सा पेज बना हुआ सो यू गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन दैट and it will ask you uh, to remove the watermark you'll just simply going to say uh, ignore that and you're going to click on share now when i click share it will give me many options so which option you're going to use aapko usually apna homework google classroom ke upar upload karna pad raha hoga so aap google classroom ke upar click karoge okay and it will ask you uh, how how are you going to upload it so aapne isko kehna hai you want to attach it to an assignment in which assignment it will give you a list of every assignment you will have so for example i want to attach it to a test 1 so i'm going to click there it will take a while and upload that on my test 1 and look it has uploaded it and then you click the letter uh, the button where it says hand in so it will again ask you for a confirmation that do you really want to submit this file as your uh, as your final sub uh, submission so you're going to say hand in and this is how simple it is you can simply uh, submit it so for example aap se galti se galat homework upload ho jata hai to google classroom again gives you an option to unsubmit it and submit another file as well so um this is how google classroom can be used in um accordance with the cam scanner as well you can work the, along with both of the softwares so that you can upload your softwares easily so when you go and uh, want to see what you have uploaded so, so see i took three different pictures so what cam scanner has done is that cam scanner has made a single file which contains all these three pictures in the right order so it's a very nice uh, software which enables us to upload our homeworks in a very efficient and easy way which is easier for you people to submit and easier for me to check as well if you have any problems regarding how to use cam scanner or if because in the beginning everyone gets some trouble so if you have any issues while downloading while using the cam scanner um you can drop me a message on facebook or my ta will always be there uh, to help you do when you are assigned some work and i will also explain some minor details in during once the session starts in the classroom as well if anybody is having some trouble with the software thank you so much and i really look forward to see you guys on 1st june in the class